Hey, welcome back. In today's video we will continue working with time series chart. In previous one we covered some important features that we can include in this chart and in this one we will proceed with this style section. If you remember previously we were using setup section to provide breakdown dimension, then to sort, to add breakdown and so on. Now let's continue with style and let's see what options we have. First is chart title, so we can provide chart title, for example sales over time, we can provide something like that, then we can change font size, font type, all other traditional options, then if I scroll down, we can change this also color by, if I click on this, we will be able to change basically color order. Let's scroll down. Now this part is important. We have series one, if I click on bars instead of line, for this North America, as you can see we are changing only that one, we will be able to customize that. Instead of line we will see bars. Let's go back to line, but we can change also thickness of that line, we can provide that to be 3 for example. We have different line types, I'm gonna stick to the current one. We can make it cumulative, which means basically that we are summing up all the years. We can show data points. We have also this option stepped lines and also this is important option show data labels. This is a very useful option that we have. If I click on compact numbers, as you can see we will be able to see our numbers presented differently. In this case it's very readable so I will leave this option like that. We can also change number of decimal places, text formatting and so on. Then we have series 2, basically we can change also our second line. We can do the same for series 3 and so on. Currently we only have 3 lines so you will be able to change first 3 and then if you add some additional then you will also be able to customize that. Let me scroll down a bit. These are also some interesting features. For us it could be useful this reference line for example. So we can provide some constant value. For example let's provide that to be 5 million. As you can see now our reference line is 5 million. We can make it to be metric, parameter, so you can add some average lines. Basically there is a lot of possibilities regarding that. I'm gonna close this one. In this case we can choose number of series. Currently we have only 3, so let's make it 3. And you will be able to see only 3 series, which is the number that we have currently. Let's scroll down. We can also group others. We can also handle missing data, in that case if we don't have any data we can make it to be zero and we can make it smooth, but in this case we have all values in our data. You can also remove axis if you need to, but basically in this case we are gonna keep it. You can also modify separate axis, Y and X, if you click on Y we can make it sales, you can do the same for this one, we can see that this is the year. You have also this option grid and then you can change grid lines, legend and background and border. Basically those are common functionalities that we have for all charts in Looker Studio. So you can play around and see what is your preference regarding this chart. For example you can change background color to be something like this. As you can see it's different then you can change line colors as we previously covered then you can add the reference line basically i'll leave that to you to experiment with that let's remove for example grid lines for example if i put this to be black we will not be able to see that because of the background so for background let me place it to be something like this border shadow we can add basically there is a lot of possibilities here okay with this i'm gonna conclude this lesson Thank you for watching.